Hey guys, I'm Jay Dupree, and today I am showing you several awkward shots in pool that you should know just to kind of enhance your arsenal of tricks. So this first shot, let's just imagine we're playing eight ball, and we're shooting the one ball. Uh, we're on our last solid. Our opponent has two blockers. We're blocking pretty much every pocket here, so we cannot bank. We cannot make it directly. Uh, probably the safest option we have is just to kind of roll our one ball up against their 12 to block their 12 from going in so to block their path from the 12 so they can make the 13 and then ultimately not have a shot on the 12. so that's probably the safest option when playing this kind of shot but if you're playing bank pool or if you're going for a more offensive approach what you can do is you can hit off three rails into the side. Uh, so this is actually a good shot because pretty much anywhere off of this rail will lead it towards the side. So you can hit from a range of like here to here and it still goes in the side. I don't know what makes it work like that, but that's generally how it works. I uh, know you're not probably not going to believe me, but you can go home and you can try it over and over and over again. And you're going to end up somewhere near the side. You're going to end up here in the side or here. So it's a, it's a good opportunity. So we're just gonna find our aiming point to hit this rail about here. That'll be a little bit of right spin on the ball as it hits this rail that'll set it off that way. So we're gonna find same angle into the rail. So same angle out of the rail. Then we're gonna half that angle. And that brings us into here. So ultimately our ang aiming point is right here. So we're just gonna play the cue ball with some heavy backspin to bring our cue ball off of this rail because that one ball is going in this direction and if our cue ball gets in the way we'll obviously miss the ball and our opponent has two balls close to uh the pockets and they're easy options he has two options and he can probably break out one of them so here's the shot so this next shot we can actually leave these balls right here uh let's just say we're blocked by the eight ball here. And we're not really sure what to do with our next shot. Or let's just say we want to be a little bit flexible. I'm going to leave that here for a little bit. I actually played this in a game of scratch pool and it was really, really cool. Scratch pool is where you have to uh, scratch on the shot. So I hit a ball into the corner and I hit the cue ball off of this rail and then it curved around another ball into this into the corner pocket it was absolutely insane everyone was like oh my god did you just do that and i was like yeah i just did that it was pretty cool so this is just to show that it actually can come up in different situations so we're going to try to make the 12 and the 13 in the shot the purple and the orange and this is usually played in like exhibitions but it can be an offensive shot because after we make the 13 our key ball is going to be somewhere in the area of the eight so we're just going to hit with high right on our cue ball, we're going to hit about right there with a loose wrist, and we're going to hit about three-fourths of the 12 on its right side. So we're going to hit off to its right. Uh, the big deal we have with this is thickness. If you hit too thick, then your cue ball will just die off on that first rail. But if you hit too thin, then your cue ball will go all around the table, and that's a different trick. Uh, so, just find that right thickness. It's usually about three fourths on its right side. Top spin, a little bit of right spin if you can't get around. Uh, you can use the left spin if you're hitting too much of this rail. Left spin will bring it back more this way. If you're going too much this way, then you're using too much left spin. So, this is a really, really, really cool shot, and you can use it in a game or impress your friends. Uh, cue ball can be pretty much anywhere along the rail, and here it is. Okay, so this next shot can be used in nine ball. Let's say we're on the nine, and our cue ball's like this, and we're not really comfortable with, let's say our cue ball's like that, and we want to be a bit more flashy rather than just cutting the eight into the nine or the win. Let's say we want to play with a little bit of top spin, just in case we miss, because uh, if you hit this too soft, look where, you, look where your eight ends up, right next to the nine. Then your opponent 
eight nine combo easily for the win. So that kind of has if you if you mess that up, then you're ultimately screwed. This we're gonna hit the eight ball pretty hard with a bunch of topspin, and this is actually a very accurate shot. Uh, you'll make it probably 90% of the time. Uh, I'm not going to guarantee you anything, but I probably make it about 90% of the time. It's usually a first try every time thing. But we're going to hit the 8 ball with maximum top spin. So we're going to hit even above that A. We're going to hit about right here. Now it's going to send our cue ball into the 8. It's kind of doing... We're just going to hit it at like that angle. It's going to hit it full on. It's not going to do that. I don't know why it keeps going that direction. Uh, but it's going to off the rail. And our cue ball is going to follow forward to make the 9. So that 8 ball will end up either over here or down on that side of the table. We could even make it into the side. But... The point is, is the 8 ball will be away from the 9 if we miss. Since we have no clear pocket for the 8, and we're not really comfortable with if we miss leaving that 8 close to the 9, uh, we can just play where the 8 goes around the table with the top spin, and here it is. So here is another shot where we have a chance for a combination into the 9. So we have the six ball, and the six ball and the cue ball are in a fairly straight line. It could be either tilted either way. But the bank is not a very high percentage bank. Uh, and if we do miss it, again, that six ball can end up close to the nine. So if we miss the bank, we can either make the nine or leave the six close. And we don't want to rely on chances. but. That bank is a pretty tough bank shot. So there is an option that you can do. When you hit the six full on, your cue ball comes back like that. So we can use that to our advantage to have the cue ball hit the six twice. Let's call it a double kiss. The cue ball and the six are hitting each other twice and it's sending the cue ball back and the six is left close to where it was. So we can just hit on a little bit to the left, still causing that double kiss. Cue ball comes off of this rail and up for the nine. And after I show you this option, I'm gonna show you a different option that you can use uh, to make the nine as well. But just play the cue ball with a little bit of back right spin. Uh, that'll just send that cue ball off of this rail up to the nine. Just make sure you don't hit too thin on the six ball or you won't get that double kiss. Here's the shot. So for this next option for this shot, we're going to play the cue ball with bottom left off the left side of the six and draw it into the nine. So if we play with a bunch of draws just like straight on, you see how it comes close to that nine? And we are going to be coming from this direction. We're going to come from this direction at this thin angle. So pretty much anywhere along that rail that we hit, we're going to make the nine. So if we hit with bottom left, and we don't have to hit hard, we can hit slow. Uh, we can avoid that double kiss, that's the main part, avoiding the double kiss with the bottom left. Make sure you're playing with bottom left or bottom whatever direction the way you're going. If you're going this way, you're playing with right, going this way, bottom left, bottom right. Uh, so whatever direction you're going, use that side spin mixed with back spin. So for this, let's grab the IQ. We are hitting bottom left around this horizontal line right here with a loose wrist and a level Q. Uh, we're hitting about half of the sixth ball on its left side with bottom left, medium speed, and here it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, you can click the like button down below. 
If you want to be notified when I post a new video, you can click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. If you like this training cue ball that I used to point out different spots to you, this is called the IQ. Uh, you can order it for $20, $25 on their website, iqclinic.com. I will try to remember to link it in the description. But if I don't, just go to iqclinic.com. Uh, if you are enjoying the series, I just want to thank you for the support on the first video of the series. Uh, we are at 182,000 views on that video. So thank you guys so much for that. So thank you guys so much for 9,900 subscribers. We are so close to 10K and we'll probably be at 10K by the time this video is released tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching and help me hit 10k subscribers and i'll see you in the next video